Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another video for you guys. And like I told you from the New York International Auto Show, right behind me, I told you I was gonna be able to review one of these, the 2019 Volkswagen Arteon. Now, majority of these auto manufacturers today make SUVs and crossovers, because that is what's most likely going to be bought in the automotive industry today. Someone doesn't want an SUV, but they don't want something that's so big as an SUV like a Tahoe or something, so they make these crossovers now. The Tiguan, the Atlas, things of that nature. So, why did Volkswagen build this? Well, one, thank you Volkswagen for building this because of the fact that this replaces the vehicle called the Volkswagen CC. Now, if you remember this CC, the CC, the CC came around, I believe out in like around 2008, 2009 or 10. Um, and then with this vehicle, it was supposed to be a coupish sedan. The problem with that was there was a couple of flaws with that. One, no headroom in the rear for tall passengers. And two, not a lot of cargo space in the trunk area due to the chassis design. But I'm here to show you guys the new 2019 Arteon. Today we're going to be going over the exterior features of the Arteon, the interior features of the, uh, the interior features of the Arteon, and also we're going to be taking this 2019 Arteon on a drive. First, I want to give a special shout out to Cherry Hill Volkswagen of Cherry Hill, New Jersey for allowing me to take out this vehicle and test drive it for you guys today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this review. Now, if everyone wants, wants to know the base price of the Arteon, the Arteon starts at around $35,000, $36,000. And you do, you do get this great design. Now, the cool thing about it is there are three trim levels, the SE, the SEL, and the SEL Premium. Within those three trims, you can get a package called the R-Line Package more aggressive wheels more aggressive body fascia and rear uh front fascia and rear fascia also as well as with different wheels so here we have the sel not the premium but just the sel with the r-line package so for the 2019 rti this is the r-line package which just includes which also includes a front, uh, different more aggressive front fascia uh, aggressive rear deck spoiler as well as rear bumper also the wheels 20 inch these beautiful r-line switchblade wheels i love the way they're designed and also they're a matte black finish which is kind of cool you do get this profile on the side here which says r-line on this platform you do get um dcc dynamic uh, chassis control you also do get a bunch of other different things full led headlights full heads up display and all this other different stuff but we're going to go ahead and get into this video and we're going to go ahead and show you around the car right now so if new for the 2019 Arteon, like again, it's completely redesigned. There's no, that this doesn't share any body panels or anything like that. It is based on the MQB platform. So that does share the platform with the Jetta, the GTI, the GLI, all those things. So it is a part of the MQB platform. So one of the things I want to talk about is the front fascia of the car. You do have the, the hood that actually kind of overlaps, over covers the headlights a little bit. I'll get more into the hood a little later actually with the i wanted to talk about the headlights what a few things i really like the headlights one this aggressive design you really have these small little casings to the headlights they're recessed in so it kind of gives like a three-dimensional look against the uh, when you're looking at the headlights from a side profile or from a from the even from the front end of it also you may not see it here but these two little stripes on the bottom of the chrome pieces here are actual led lights these are your daytime running lights and turn signals and you do have daytime high beams as well as daytime running lights as well uh, you do have the cornering feature when you turn the corner you do have a light that shines on the side of the road for you during uh, when you turn on that side so you don't have to worry about um, you know seeing curbs at night but also what I really do like about this design is that they made these lights kind of flow into the whole front grille. So that's kind of cool how they kind of had this whole design flow into the front grille. And then you also do have this plastic piece here. Um, this is obviously probably going to most likely going to be for your license plate. If I had this car, I would not drill into this at all. You do have your lane departure warning, front collision warning, radar guided cruise control, and other features, safety features for 2019 with the 2019 Arteon. And that's what I really do like. Also on the bottom, you don't have fog lights, but again, this is a part of the R-Line package. So you do get this bumper, this front fascia that's kind of a little bit more aggressive than the regular um, Arteons. But I do like it, this little black trim right here. This is kind of following along a new theme for the R-Line for uh, 2019 with Volkswagen with the R and, you know, the Tiguan and the other cars of that nature. So that's pretty cool as well. So let's go ahead and see what's underneath the hood. So do for 2019, the Arteon is powered with, I can pull this open, there we go. 
The Archeon is powered with a, with a two liter four cylinder turbo, 16 valve dual overhead cam with an IS38 turbo under the hood. So it is actually a Golf R turbo. And then pretty much the ergonomics of everything is exactly the same. So you have your turbo on the back, you have your intake here, your battery tray right here. And that's pretty cool. That's a, a couple of different cool things about it. One of the things I did want to mention under the hood, um, under the underneath the inside of the engine bay is the hood. So as you guys can see right here, there's no fender or there's a half a fender. So the reason why they did this is because what is called a clamshell open hood. So the hood actually already has part of the fender, fender built into it. And then also for protection of the front, uh, the, our, when the Volkswagen actually did come out with this car from factory, they actually did not want to deviate away from the styling of the of the um, of the concept of the vehicle. They actually wanted to keep it. For, they actually wanted to keep a lot of the features of the concept vehicle. So one of the things that they had to do for this tile hood, because it sat a really it sat a little too low, um, was that they added these double hinges. So what happens is when you get into an impact, these hinges will buckle a little bit, and then it actually tilts the hood forward catching the passenger rather i'm um, catching the pedestrian that you might accidentally hit on the road so you don't have to accidentally you know they won't end up in your windshield so this is kind of cool as well kind of a safety feature here this is kind of cool a double double hinge um double hinge hood but as you guys can see as i close the hood right now you do see that it's a part of the fender it's pretty cool to design too so a couple of features that I want to mention on the 2019 R-Town is like I said, you do have that R-Line package. So you do have these beautiful 20 inch wheels. It's a 245-35 um, R20 size tire. And there are continental, these are continental all season. So you should have no problem with that. Also a cool thing about this vehicle as well, it's four motion. So you do have all wheel drive with Volkswagen's Heldex system. Um, another couple of good things about it is that as you can see, it's kind of like a Sportback. So if you guys have seen the new 2019-2020 Audi A5 Sportback, this kind of is the dumbed down version of it that's at a little bit more of an affordable price rather than paying 60 grand for an Audi. Another really good thing that I like, it's old school, a lot of companies don't do it anymore with sedans, but the pillarless doors. This is pretty cool, I really do love this. I love the fact that there's just glass here and then the fact when you close it, the window actually goes back up by itself. I love stuff like that. It's it reminds me of old 90s style coupes and it's pretty cool like even with this door right here this is kind of how the door opens i think that's slick it's dope i love the way that this act the, the design is on this absolutely fantastic now as you guys know on my gti or if you have a gti for yourself doesn't even matter if you have the autobahn gti or the golf r we do not have power folding mirrors but the arteon comes standard with them so all you have to do is lock the car and then the power mirrors go up we have to buy ours from Volkswagen, but they do incorporate it in with this kind of with the with the Arteon, and I think it actually is pretty pretty cool. So in the Arteon, yeah, I mean this vehicle prices at around forty four thousand dollars, but you still don't even get like a uh, power lift gate. You actually have to do it manually, just like the GTI. You just go ahead and push that in, you pull up. But look at all the space that you have in this cabin. You literally have a crap load of space in here. I could fit my body in here, another body in here. And then again, if you need even more space than that, these seats, these seats do fold down flat, flat six to four, or 60 to 40 split in the rear, which is absolutely pretty cool. And then you do have this little a piece right here, just another premium, uh, premium feel of the actual car right here. You do have like this chrome uh, skid plate. So this way you don't scratch the car up or scratch anything else up. But one thing that I thought of, you don't even want to scratch the chrome up. Would you, would you want to scratch the chrome up? Let, let me know. Finally, we're inside the 2019 Volkswagen Arteon. Beautiful, beautiful design. Volkswagen traditional type of design, but however, they only they put their little spin on it to make sure that this is the premium sedan. So the way that Volkswagen market markets this car is the premium, it's, it's supposed to be like the premium luxury sports sedan, something of those lines, but it's absolutely flawless. So in the Arteon, you do have a bunch of different features. If you've owned a Volkswagen before or any of their new products, you kind of know where everything is. Like I said, you do, it's a beautiful layout, beautiful design, high quality materials. The leather in this car is actually different than most other leather 
leathers and other of the trims not the trims but the actual um different cars so for instance you can tell like this is a different type of leather um on the steering not on a steering wheel and on the actual uh, seats themselves the styling of the seats is a little different they're more plush and nice but one thing i really wanted to mention about the interior is actually pretty cool is a couple things the frameless window um the frameless rear view mirror that's pretty cool there's no frame around it there's no it's an auto dimming one so there's no tab on the bottom i noticed little things like that you do have led lighting throughout the cabin like if you stare up here in this area this all reminds me of my gti up here which is kind of cool and as you start working your way down down, you start noticing the different things such as the digital virtual cockpit from Volkswagen you can pretty much customize your stuff it's not fully like it's you can't like fully adjust your maps like Audi for instance but you still can have some adjustability with different features on the gauge cluster with your miles per hour and fuel economy and things of that nature also another cool thing is the vents so this actually like kind of like the front grill and in the, uh, the front grill with the headlights incorporated with those two lines that go like a seamless line throughout the entire front of the car that's also carried out in here with the vents um of the dashboard which is kind of cool very bold move on volkswagen's part but i actually really do like that it gives a little bit of different it's some there's some different there's some familiar styles in here but as well as like something like this this is very very different and i applaud volkswagen for going ahead and being bold about it um, when you move down here, you do have your 8-inch display. If you've seen my other Volkswagen reviews, this is the same exact thing right here. Um, you do have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. This does have the Volkswagen navigation in it. So, I mean, it's all pretty intuitive. And it also, it's pretty responsive, which I really do like myself. Um, one of the cool little features that I no noticed here is actually, and I have it in my GTI as well. If you have a newer Volkswagen, it actually does have this or even the previous um, LCD display. Um, that's in here the cool thing about it is once your car is full the gas the, the the car will actually be all the way to the left but as you start to get close to an empty tank the car will slightly move to the gas icon to the side here which i think is a little pretty cool um now of course in a car like this you do have um dual zone climate control now instead of them putting the usb in here um, that's my only kind of flaw with this car. It's actually just right here. I guess it's kind of cool But you know when you're trying to have like a sleek layout It's kind of cool to actually just have everything sleek But they actually incorporate the USB here for your phone to actually connect to Android Auto to the interface for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay And it also does charge your phone as well You do have keyless entry as well as push button start You do have shift paddles on the steering wheel and also one thing I did not mention about the engine in the car You don't have the dual clutch transmission. You actually have an eight-speed automatic Volkswagen is actually pulling out of that dual clutch the only car that really does offer it today is the Golf R um, and also the GTI so I think that it's going to be prevalent to just those models but actually I can't wait to actually see how this actually performs on the road one of the cool things that you know about the 2019 Arteon is that they're trying to be luxury and all the top luxury brands have the analog clock so they didn't use any other fancy brand they just simply put a nice little clock put some black trim around it and then actually go ahead and make it look classy throughout the dash and I think it's a really nice touch um, there is some piano black piano black is prevalent to fingerprints but um, it's not too bad um, there's not a lot of it in this car thank God there's not a lot of piano black in the car there's piano black where there needs to be piano black and that's it you do have this aluminum design above that and then you also do have the soft touch pad dashboard as well you have a bunch of speakers in this car one huge speaker up here two on the doors uh two on each top of the door two more on the bottom of those doors and then also you have mids as well so there's three doors i'm sorry there's three speakers per door for the front alone that's seven speakers here and i believe you have one two in the back and then you have a sub so i believe it's like almost 10 speakers in this car so which is kind of cool um and the sound system is absolutely great i cannot play music for you because I, um because of youtube copyright infringement i can't do that but i really do like this interior gripes uh, one of the quirky things or one of the things i do not like about this um Arteon is the old style steering wheel yes they did try to make it a little bit more um modern with the you know the golf r has the uh the gray stitching and they also incorporate that into the Arteon as well so i do applaud them for that but if you've been in any other older passat passat or all the volkswagen product this vehicle does have the old style steering wheel it'll be nice even for like the r line to come up with like a more traditional or different style wheel something a little bit more aggressive like the r or the GTI um, but this is perfectly fine I mean once you're getting into a car like this this doesn't feel any less premium the buttons still feel nice and premium and solid they don't have a cheap feel to them and then 
you have, you know, your, even the, the horn sounds really good as well. Nice high quality sound. So like I said, 2019, two, 2019 Arteon from Volkswagen. It's absolutely, it, it checks all the bells when it comes down to luxury. Now the pride, now the pro, the thing about it is you can range this car from 35,000 all the way up to 50,000. The question is, is it worth it? Well, I think what it's time to do now, what, what it's time for me to do now is actually go ahead and take this on a test drive. So without further ado guys, let's hop in this thing and let's see what it's all about. This car must know how I drive because it definitely locked me out just now. <laughs> so let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and get an RT on and see how she drives. I really do love the car so far. It handles bumps extremely well, which is something that I'm really particular about, especially in my car. Sometimes when you're driving a GTI all the time, you really don't want to deal with hard roads or a rough ride all the time. So if you have this as like the everyday car or anything like that, um, you know, things of that nature, everything will be okay. But what I want to do now is I want to talk about that engine. I want to get a little bit more power in it. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead to gear and speed. This, ah, there we go, gear and speed. All right, so it has my gauge in regards to the gear I have in over here, miles per hour over there, and then I have it in sport mode. Very smooth. Okay. Not that much body roll as I was expecting, surprisingly or not. Now, I don't know if I was in sport mode, and I am. So, the actual dealership actually told me before reviewing this car is that there's 15 different ways you can set the, the controls in this car, which I think is a little excessive. But let's check it out. So, if you go to custom and you adjust, obviously I can't look at it now, but there's... There's like, let's say for you're in comfort, there's different sets for comfort mode. If you're in sport mode, you can actually make it a little bit more sportier than the normal sport mode, which doesn't make sense. But I mean, you know, hey, you know, to each its own, you got more adjustability, right? Wow. This motor doesn't, uh, I'm telling you, the same motor that's in my GTI, they use it for all platforms across the board. You know, and it's and it's great. I, I absolutely love this engine. Speaking of engine, this new car, the, the RT 2019 Arteon makes 268 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Now you're wondering, like, you know, obviously they, you know, well, those numbers seem kind of low for a premium sedan, and that's because, you know, obviously they don't want to outshine the Golf R. The Golf R has the same engine and turbo as this car, but it has a dual clutch if you get the D, uh, DSG. If you get the actual manual, which you can in, in um, a, um, an R. You know, the car, the lead, that car makes like 292 horsepower. So they can't really do too much in regards of power in this car. And again, they're not trying to attract that type of audience in regards of motorsport or power, power, power. I'm sure this thing with a tune would make crazy power, but that's not what it's built for. That's not what it's about. This car is really nice around the corners. I really like the way this car handles. And you can tell, like when you go through that dip, it's not like wallowy, it's really firm because of the adaptive DCC suspension. I really like this thing, man. Wow. Now, I can sit here and talk to you guys blue in the face. I recommend that you guys drive one yourselves. I'm really, I'm really happy the way that this car is. I mean, okay. So, if this was a dual clutch, if this was a dual clutch transmission, you would feel that the shifts are very quick. Like the way it sounds, the way it's responding, it feels like a Golf R. Um, however, the, the gears are not as crisp, as quick, I'm sorry, quick as that. But then you can also feel the jerkiness of the torque converter a little bit. I think that's fine. Um, most of the time people are going to have it in drive, just regular drive. And, you know, not a lot of people are really going to drive it in a sports-inspired way. The cool thing about it is there are, like, you know, this does have a lot of Golf R characteristics. Again, that 4Motion um, Haldex all-wheel drive system. Also, uh, the, the, this car does have flaps, active valves in the exhaust. So right now, if I am go back in comfort mode, which is where I'm going in now, the exhaust did quiet up a little bit. And the steering wheel loosened a little bit too, so it does have electric power steering. Um, another thing that I noted, uh, you know, and, and it feels nice. If it, like, okay, so let's take some bumps again. Okay, so now it's definitely 
you can definitely tell the difference in the ride now. It's a little bit more softer. It's it's uh, less forgiving, per se. Like, it holds the bumps very well. And for 20-inch wheels on this car, you really don't have a jarring ride, which is what I expect. Like, hold on, here's a pot right here. Not bad at all. Quietness. Good job. Volkswagen always really does well with their insulation. This car is completely quiet. It's nice. Silent. Really nice to drive and really good taste of luxury and that's really what they were trying to go for here and i think they've really hit that in the ballpark you know, someone like me who is about to be 30 years old birthday's the end of this month july uh i think that this would somewhat suit me i love the way it looks it has aggressive styling it drives like my car in regards of throttle response when my car is stock and it really handles the road very nicely. It has a presence about it too that doesn't look like any other car on the road. Thank you Volkswagen for not trying to act like another car, not trying to be another car, because that's not what this is about. Um, you know, this car definitely has some tasteful characteristics that I really do enjoy. Um, is it worth the 45 grand? Um, yes and no. I mean, Think about it. The car that competes against this is probably going to be your, I can't even compare it to anything in Mercedes, but the Audi A5 Sportback, right? That car well equipped like this is probably going to be a north of 50K, 60, almost like in the low $60,000 range. You have to think about that. Do you want to spend that type of money? Yeah, you got the all-wheel drive Quattro and that's true Quattro. Um, that's not a Haldex system, so it's front wheel drive bias in this, and then when it needs power, it kicks in the rear tires for extra grip. 45 tires all the way around, I don't think you're gonna have too much to worry about, but I really do like this. There's some cool features that I really do like as well, like the lane departure warning, and uh, the lane departure warning, for instance. So they took some styling cues from Audi. They're not on the mirrors anymore, like usually you'll have that little icon in the mirror, no longer there. It's incorporated, see, uh, there's a black piece on the um, mirrors. Uh, that I noticed and you know it's actually um, it'll, it'll shine yellow once it gets you know once it gets to if there's a car in your blind spot that will illuminate yellow and it'll dim down once the car starts to fade away out of your blind spot I think stuff like that are pretty cool another thing I like is the mirrors they're not attached to the door they're actually separate away from the door you can see the whole mirror in the arm it's kind of like a, a European car style look I like it I think it's kind of cool um, I really do like the way this car rides. I love the way that this car is. I, I, I can't wait. I cannot afford 45 grand right now. I can't wait for these to actually go on sale for the certified pre-owned market because then your boy will definitely be getting one of these. I mean, my girlfriend first saw this two years ago at European Experience when they revealed it and um, I was completely blown away. Um, it had Boston wheels on the, the, you know, the orange, I'm uh, not the orange, the, uh, the yellow, the lime, the lime green uh, wrap. It was absolutely flawless and they did a good job. And finally driving the car for the first time, I saw it at the New York International Auto Show. I promised you guys a review and now you have it. Um, I literally love it. I, I love every bit of it. I think they did a really good job. They really took their time. They thought about it. And I really got to put it in sport mode again. Oh, it definitely, it's definitely got some grunt. <laughs> you will not, you will be satisfied for this as a daily. You will, you really will. I, I, I can't speak on that enough. That low end torque is fantastic. There's a lot of low end grunt here and it's pretty cool for all wheel drive. And you know, I'm sure this car is not light by any means. But yeah, I, 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 you know, it handles and responds and I definitely do approve of the 2019 Arteon. Well guys, um, that's gonna conclude, like I said, that's gonna conclude the drive portion of this video. I'm very impressed. Good job, Volkswagen. All right guys, well that's gonna conclude my review here of the 2019 Volkswagen Arteon. I hope you guys didn't like the, I hope you guys did like the video. I love this car. I'm actually excited about it. I hope it does sell well in the market. Um, there's a lot of promises for it. There's a lot of pluses for the car. However, the price is kind of steep, but I think once people get over that, they'll realize they'll have a premium sedan that they can rely on for time and time again. 
If you did like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure that you do three things for me. Like, share, and subscribe to JR14. And make sure you hit the notification bell on videos like this so you get post notifications on videos in the future on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time at all time. And again, I wanna give a special shout out to Cherry Hill Volkswagen of Cherry Hill, New Jersey for allowing me to review their 2019 uh, Volkswagen Arteon. This vehicle is for sale, so if you do like this specific vehicle, make sure that you go to the link in the, in the description. I do have this car in the link, as well as the rest of their inventory available. Well, like I said, guys, I hope that you guys have a good day, and you guys always remember that cars are lifestyle. Take care.